While cabinet positions on the Trump team, they're starting to fill up, but the president-elect has yet to choose who will lead the VA. Representative-elect Matt Gates lobbying the team to nominate his predecessor, Jeff Miller. And Gates sat down with Anthony Purr today and had an interview. And Anthony, you guys, he's got a full, full plate. <laughs> That's right. He's got a lot on his plate. He'll be sworn in next week. But he says Northwest Florida would benefit greatly with someone familiar with our veterans and their issues. U.S. Congressman Jeff Miller is someone many have name dropped for VA secretary, along with Sarah Palin, Senator Scott Brown and Pete Hasgith. Congressman-elect Matt so Gates tells us Miller would be his top choice. Jeff knows exactly what we need to do to reform the VA. He's been fighting against an administration that wasn't really serious about prioritizing the care of our veterans. So that's why I'm lobbying hard for Jeff Miller to get the gig. Well, what have you done to help him uh, get this position? So I've been in contact with all the people I know who have both official and unofficial roles on the transition team, and I've shared my own experiences with Jeff Miller. Uh, he's honest, he's upfront, and he's really a workhorse. You know? But Gates says he has no insight on who President-elect Donald Trump will pick. A large chunk of the Trump team have been plucked from the realm of business and military, not Washington. The common theme there is it's folks who are apolitical. When you're in business, when you're in the military, it's the outcomes that matter, not the inputs. That's what we've screwed up in government, Anthony. We, we measure the inputs, but we don't always measure the outcomes. And that's... We'll have more on my interview with Matt Gates online at WEARTV.com. We asked him about the F-35 program, as well as what they plan to do in the first 100 days in Congress. We'll be right back.